Hey guys, it's Blake. Today's February 2nd. Um, this is my big special announcement video. If you guys watched my non-Disney related clothing haul video that I made uh, yesterday, I think. I don't know if it uploaded yet. I don't know. I'm still waiting for that. Um, so yeah, this is my surprise announcement video. I contacted the person that the announcement was going through with me and I was like, should we make the announcement? Should we tell people? Like, it's not, I'm not getting married or anything, don't worry. That sounds scary. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, no, it's not like, we can't tell anybody, but it's just like, do I want to tell people now? So, um, this is my big announcement. Um, I guess where I'm going, guys. There's a hint. The background. And my whole, like, apartment. I'm going to Disneyland. Again. So, that, yeah, if I, there's like applause or yays or anything, I can add it. Let's it. Super fun. So yeah, um, it's something that I've thought of for a while now, um, when I had my job, because I'm jobless now, when I had my job back in, uh, like around Christmas, around the holiday season, um, I was saving up my money and I was always like putting a little bit aside each paycheck that I got, because I didn't know for sure if I wanted to do something. I know I wanted to have money saved up for something, but I just didn't know what I was going to do with it. And then one night I was sitting down with my one of my friends and we were talking like, oh, you know, my birthday is coming up, so what do you want to do my birthday? Um, it's coming up, so what do I want to do for that, like, I want to, I want to do something really exciting, so, I don't want to, like, have a party somewhere, like, going to a club is not my idea of exciting, so I was like, you know, I really want to take a trip, the only time I've ever been to Disneyland was, um, last year when I was 18 years old, um, in March, so, that was my first time, and it's, like, it was still really amazing, like, I got in there and I started crying and stuff, but it's like something you want to enjoy as a child. So for my first time being 18, it was kind of like strange, but I really loved it. Like I, I was only there for a day too. So it's kind of like ridiculous that I went there with the intentions of enjoying myself and not being rushed and having so much fun and stuff. But because it was like a full California trip, Disneyland was like one specific day. And the fireworks didn't even happen that night because it was too windy and I was devastated. And I couldn't even see Tinkerbell fly across. I was so sad. So. What I'm doing now, this year for my birthday, is I'm going to Disneyland with my best friend, Sam, who you may have seen in some of my other videos that I posted. I've made a few that included her, like the, I think it was Bambi 2 on Blu-ray unboxing or something, she's in that one. Um, and we are going from April 12th to April 19th, we're going for a week. Um, for my birthday, my birthday is April 16th, so we're going to be in Disneyland on my birthday, I'm so excited. Um, we, yeah, we fly down April 12th, we fly back April 19th, and I picked flights that are, like, this is my travel book. Um, I picked flights that are, like, really accommodating to, like, time schedules, so we, we leave at, like, 6 in the morning and get to California at, like, 9 o'clock, because I live in Vancouver, which is, like, three hours away from L.A., and then we leave Vancouver on the 19th at, like, 8.30 or something and get home at, like, 11.30, so it's, like, super convenient times so where we don't, like, miss whole days. We actually, like, gain extra days, so that's really fun. And yeah, so this is my like travel binder that I made. It's the 1997 profit planning binder for like different stores and stuff that had like Disney releases. As you can see, I got it as a, as like a gift. It wasn't even like a gift for like a birthday or Christmas. I just got it as a gift from one of my friend's moms. She gave it to me because she knows that I'm obsessed with Disney. And this is something that they had at one of the stores that she worked at um, in the electronics department. So she decided to give it to me. So. It was really cool, so that's my planning, my project planning binder. And so as you can see, I have a whole bunch of stuff here. I have my, I went out as soon as I figured out that I was going. We decided like, like I had my money saved. Um, so I like, already bought the flights and everything, all that stuff's booked. And um, I think we decided, we were talking about it. She was here on Christmas night and we were like, oh, haha, it would be so much fun to go to Disneyland. And I was like, yeah, it would. Let's go for my birthday. And she's like, what? And so we decided that we're going to Disneyland for my birthday. So soon after that, I went to the flight agency or the hotel, whatever it is, travel agency thing. Booked all that information. You can't really see it because it's private. Um, so yeah, this is my like itinerary booking stuff that I have for our trip. Um, and then I went out and bought the Burn Bomb 2013 Disneyland Guide. I have here the 2002 Disneyland Resort Guide by Burn Bomb um, from 2002, clearly, obviously that I bought at like a library. They have like after books have been used for a while or whatever, they sell them. So I got that, that was like, but I got that when I was like 10. So I just had that for a long time. 
Um, so yeah, I got the new 2013 edition. It comes with coupons in the back. They're not that exciting. The ones from 2002 are way more awesome. There's like actual Disneyland coupons. This one, there's a coupon for like, for Quicksilver clothing. Like, I don't need that. Yeah, I got that. Um, I have my tour DVD things, my vacation planning DVDs. This one is from Walt Disney World from 2004. I don't know why I have that. Bought it at a thrift store, I think. Um, and then I have the 2012 Vacation Planning Disney DVD. And what I did was, as soon as I decided that I was going, on like January 10th or something, I was like, oh, well I have the one from last year, maybe I should order this year's. Um, I ordered the one for 2013, and it sent me another 2012. So I just have two 2012 Vacation Planning DVDs. Oh well, it's okay. Um, I'll probably order another one though, because I want the 2013 one. And in here I have... This is something I did for my last year at Disneyland. It's all the different face characters and all the different characters that they have there at Disneyland that I set out to meet, and I met like 10 of them. So, it's pretty good for a day though. And then I have my Disneyland. It's like a little brochure book thing about Disneyland and Disney World vacations and stuff. And then I have my Disneyland map. The theme for the map when I was there in March was Star Tours. I don't know specifically what it was geared towards because I don't think that was new, but oh well. See, so yeah, I have my Disneyland map, and then I have my California Adventure map, and this one was dedicated to um, the Little Mermaid under the... Mm. Yeah, the Little Mermaid Ariel's Under Sea Adventure. Um, yeah, because that came out in like the summer, I think, before that, and I was there in March, so I guess they just hadn't changed their maps, but it's okay because Ariel's my favorite princess, so that's cool. And then I have my... Um, <laughs> uh, vacation book that I've like made. It's it's Camp Rock. Um, my little notebook. It's full of um, you can see Blake and Sam's Dis amazing vacation journal, and it has like all the tentative trip bookings and stuff. Um, so this is but this is actually like before we booked everything. I was just writing down, going through different things. I like to even if I don't go on trips, I always like to plan things. Maybe I should be a travel agent. Um, but I like to plan trips, like, I, for last year for California when I went there in March, I like planned the whole week. I did like different uh, tour booking things, like uh, we went to the Warner Brothers Studio Tour, we went to uh, the Universal Studios Tour or something like that, some other one like that, but I booked like the whole week. And some people like to go on vacations and not have a set schedule. I'm the complete opposite. I like to have a set schedule just because for me, it's something that I can like, even if we don't follow it, it's something that I can look at and be like, okay, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to do. Rather than not having a clear idea of something, like I don't want to go into something and just not know anything about it. So I like to like do a lot of research about it. Like we're not even leaving for like another three months, but I still have everything like scheduled to the day. So, um, and we don't usually like follow that whenever I plan trips. We don't like always follow it. I just like to always have something set just in case um, we do tend to follow it. Um, so yeah, this is, it says Blake's birthday, April 16th, um, and I was looking at, um, like, different, like, trip stays and stuff, and I believe that the maximum, well, not maximum, obviously, they don't put a maximum on that, but, um, one of, like, the maximums that I saw for Disney for Park Hopper Passes when you're staying with the hotel was, like, five days, and if we're gonna be there for a week, I don't wanna be specifically only at Disneyland, like, we're going there for a week, so we got the five-day Park Hopper Pass between Disneyland and California Adventure, and so that's five days at Disneyland, and then the two other days just for the rest of California. So I'm thinking that we'll get there on the Friday, have the like the whole day Friday, the whole day Saturday for like anything we want to do in California. Because Friday will probably be like a, like a, a lazier day just because we're gonna get there um, at like nine o'clock in the morning. We'll have been up since like four. We'll probably wanna we can't check into our hotel until three o'clock, so we'll have to find something to do with our suitcases. But like going through like lug luggage claims and stuff, we probably won't be out until of the airport until like at least around like eleven thirty, I would say. Like and plus if there's like delays or anything, so we can like grab a lunch somewhere and then go and be around, um, catch our shuttle because we're going to LAX airport and that's not that close to Anaheim. It's like a forty five minute drive in no traffic, so um, we're doing that. And I'm thinking that like by the time we get everything done and settled through. It should be close to like hotel check-in time, and then we can just go to the hotel, drop off our bags, go like, if we already went out for lunch, we can go find something to do. We're near a lot of stuff, so there's lots of stuff that we can walk around and do stuff around like Disneyland Park and Downtown Disney, so we can always go to dinner 
to downtown Disney and stuff if we want to do that, and then go shopping on the along the streets and stuff. And so even though we're not going to be like in Disneyland every single day, we'll still like at least be somewhat Disney like oriented on this vacation. But then for the last days, so we're doing our five day park hopper pass from this Sunday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, because those days tend to be the least busy. Sunday is a busy day just because it's a weekend, so Sunday and Monday are probably the busiest, just because people, if they do plan Disneyland trips, they often tend to, like, book off for, like, a Friday to a Monday just so that they can have, like, the day off on Friday and the day off on Monday, so they can have, like, the four-day weekend-type thing, I guess. I've never done that before because I've only been once, and I went for Sunday, so... But it's good because the Sunday nights are open till like, midnight, I believe, so... Um, and the park is open a lot later in April than it is, like, the rest of the time. Like, I believe now for January, it's only open till like, 8 p.m., but then in April, for when we're going, it's open till like, midnight or 1 o'clock. So, I'm excited for that, um, so we get more that we're paying for. So, um, and then we can have, like, the, the Thursday night, if we spend that Thursday at Disneyland, and then the whole Friday to do anything else we want to do. So, we have the Friday the 12th, the 13th. Saturday and then the 19th Friday to do anything that we want to do like California related So I really want to go to the Santa Monica Pier because I haven't done that yet And that's something that I've always wanted to do so when I was there last time in March I wanted to do that and that was on my schedule But we just never got around because it was already so rushed with all the different tour bookings and everything that we had so That's something that I'm really hoping that we can get achieved for this trip because we have like all that first Saturday empty so as of now I have nothing booked for that so we're gonna go through it's still like I said like three months or Oh my god, it's like two months away. Two, yeah, what is it, 69 days today. Oh my god. It's so exciting. So yeah, um, I guess we have to get down to that booking stuff now. Well, I'm booking, but like planning stuff and what we're going to do for the days. So um, this is, what else do I have on here? Trip destination. Yeah, I really do things in depth. So uh, Disneyland Resort, Anaheim, California, hotels and area. So I did like all the hotel booking and everything. We've already booked our hotel, but I'm not going to say which one it is, just in case people are like creepy or whatever. Um, so there's different like ones that I wrote down. We're not staying in a Disneyland hotel, unfortunately. I wish we could. If I had like a million billion dollars, I would be staying in a Disneyland hotel. But I looked, and like for one night, for like the which one did I like the best? The, uh, the Disneyland hotel was like the coolest. It had like the aerial suite and stuff. But to stay in one of those hotels is like four hundred and sixty-nine dollars for a night, which is like almost not really close to the hotel price that we're paying for the whole week. So we're just staying in one of the good neighbor hotels, and you can't try and find which one we're staying at because it, there's like a million different ones around the neighborhood. So we're staying in a good neighbor hotel, and that was like a really, I found that the prices for that were really decent. Hopefully it's what it says it is. If it's not, I'm going to be really disappointed. I found one that had like good reviews, and it's not something that I really care about. It's a place to sleep. Like all day we're going to be spending at Disneyland or downtown Disney or the rest of California. It's not going to be something dedicated completely that we're going to be in this luxurious hotel and we're like, like partying in there. No, we're going to be sleeping in that place. It's just a bed we need. So, but I don't want one that has cockroaches. So, I chose one that seemed nice and had goodish reviews. So, hopefully it's up to par for what I like. I'm not that picky, but maybe I will be for this trip. I don't know. Because it's my birthday. It's my birth week. Um, I'm not like that. Don't worry. Um, what else is there? The flights. We already talked about that. I'm not going to say anything about that because I don't think you guys are going to come on the flights. Hopefully not. Um, so yeah, we're taking a shuttle from the Los Angeles International Airport. Shuttle from there to our hotel. Um, and then dining for my birthday. Um, I actually need to get down to this soon. For my birthday, we're eating at Ariel's Grotto for lunchtime for the character dining experience. Some people have said that the food isn't that good, but I really want to go for the experience. I think that it sounds really, really fun. I've watched videos on YouTube, I've looked at things online, the menu sounds okay. Um, and so we're doing that for lunchtime just because I've read that online, if you book it for dinner time, they don't do the character experience, it's just like a dinner. So we're going for lunch for that one just because I want the character experience to be included in that so I can meet all the princesses. And specifically, Ariel, right there. She's my favorite one. So we're going to do that for lunch. And then for dinner, I was thinking about the Rainforest Cafe. It's not inside Disneyland or California Adventure, but it's like in downtown Disney. So it's still like Disney related. There's no Disney characters inside that, I believe, though. Um, so and for the rest of it, like that's the... Oh, no, there's more. In my book. Never mind. I thought that was it. That's not. So yeah, the trip is actually like a really good price. So we booked it in advance enough that um, we didn't have to worry about hotels being extremely expensive because we didn't book them
or far enough from the date. So we got those for pretty cheap and the flights were pretty cheap. Like it was like, how much was it? I can tell you guys the price for that. Um, the flights for both of us for there and back, including like all taxes, everything in was seven forty eight. So I think that's pretty good. That's like, what is it, a person? Um, it doesn't say in here, I don't think. It's three seventy four each for flights. So, and that's like with taxes. So I think it was, because there's like $100 on taxes or whatever, so I don't know how much it was. It was like two seventy four, which would be like one thirty five each flight, I believe. So that's pretty cheap to me for like from here to California, and it's nonstop. It's like direct flight there. So I'm happy about that too, and it's at a great time. So that's what I have for information for now. Um, and I also got this thing in the mail. This is something that I would love to do, but I can't because I'm not like a kajillionaire. Um, it's the Adventures by Disney. Um, I ordered this package online just because I was wanting to see more about that before I knew about pricing because they don't really estimate prices online. They want you to like phone the travel agency or phone the booking place and then they tell you how much the price is and then they try and get you hooked into like buying it. So like nowhere inside this guide does it say anywhere about prices. It just says to find out about pricing contact us at this thing. So yeah, but this is the Adventures by Disney catalog. Um, you can order it online at adventuresbydisney.com. This is something that I had like an idea of doing, but then after I looked up the pricing or like read people's reviews about the pricing and stuff, I was like, well, maybe I'll just go to Disneyland. Plus it's somewhere that I've always wanted to be for my birthday. So because last year for my birthday, I went to the Disney store and I got like the button and the badge and everything. And I got everybody saying happy birthday to me and my name was on the screen, but I want to be at Disneyland for my birthday. So that's what I'm doing for my 20th birthday. And you may say I'm too old, whatever. I'm not, you can never be too old. Um, but anyways, yeah, this is the Adventures by Disney guide. It's this huge, like, book full of information about different trips. What are some of the ones they have? Um, Italy, um, Ireland, Greece, Germany, Paris, Normandy, and the Loire Valley, whatever that, Lo Loire, Loire? Oh, not French, I don't know. London, Paris, and the English countryside, Peru, Galapagos Islands, Ecuador, Costa Rica, Wyoming, Wyoming. Isn't that in America? Pennsylvania. Southern California, that would be cool. Um, Montana and Montana and Canada. I like how they include that as, as like a whole thing. Canada. You know, it's pretty cool. Montana the state and Canada the world. It's not like a country or anything. Arizona and Utah. So apparently there's a whole bunch of other things. Um, I thought it was just like exotic places. I haven't really looked through it yet. I just got this the other day. I thought it was places like Ireland and Italy and cool things. But I guess they do it for like different states too. So yeah, South Africa, Southeast Asia, um, what else is there? Egypt, China, Australia, Switzerland, Scotland. Yeah, Scotland sounds really cool. That's one that I was looking at online because they were advertising it with like the Brave package. So you can see in here, it's like super cool. It's uh, nine days and eight nights in Edinburgh, Isle of Skye, Inverness, and Isle of Lewis. It's called A Brave Adventure. So if you're looking more into that stuff, just go to adventuresbydisney.com and order the little book. It comes with a little letter inside and then this little guidebook thing. And if you want to know about pricing, just phone them and ask them how many millions of dollars it is. So yeah, that's what I have for now. Um, this video is already 20 minutes long, probably won't even upload. Hopefully it does. Um, stay tuned for more because Sam will be over here in a few days and maybe we'll make a video talking about how excited we are to go to Disneyland for my birthday. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Uh, have a great day, or whatever time of day it is you're watching. Bye!